Hey, here I am. I'm a few minutes late. Sorry. Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> that's too funny. This shit is so crazy to me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How's it going? How was your week? Did you have a good week? Hi, Dennis. It's nice to see you on here. It's been a while since I've been on here. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how amazing I am, but... <laughs> oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't feel very cute today, actually. <laughs> it's been a long week. How about you guys? <laughs> I don't know about a perfect body, but... <laughs> I think I look pretty good for 50, I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, I can see can just talk about test numbers. Oh, that's great, Peter. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. You guys are great. So tell me how your week was. Everybody have a good week. Dennis is a five-star man. Yep, it sure is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 50 bullshit. Oh, Bob, come on, man. <laughs> That's awesome. So did you guys see on, um, on, um, Muscle Sport Media YouTube? Thank you, Jeff. Did you guys see the, um, the, uh, Olympia footage? Oh, thank you. Oh, you guys are sweet. I love you too. <laughs> That's great. Do you guys go and look at look at the uh, the fun that we had at the alligator bar? I know this is kind of old news, but I haven't really got to talk about it because um, I just um, this is my first live for a while. It's been gosh, I think a month. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be back on here. <laughs> it's just I didn't. I actually I planned on doing a live at the Olympia, but um, you know, honest to God, we were go, 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 go all day long. And then in the evening, it was after the shows. And so it was like 11 o'clock, 1130. And we had to eat and then, um, and then, you know, go to the alligator bar and try and get some footage there. But it just never was good timing for, um, for me to be able to do a live. So I just, um, I said, bag it all this way till I get back. And then I'll do something fun, you know. I was going to have a guest on here tonight, but she is, um, she is, uh, in the middle of moving. So my next live, which I think I'm going to do next week, because I owe you guys a couple of good ones. <laughs> I'm going to, um, I'm going to have her on next week. And so it'll be a surprise guest. You guys will really enjoy it. It'll be fun. And yep, it's another hot chick. So, uh, you'll have a good time with us. But, um. So, yeah, so I didn't really get a chance to do, um, uh, yeah, cat. it was fun. I know. <laughs> we did have a good time. Cat, <laughs> we drank way too much, though. <laughs> I went back when I saw the footage that they had. I was laughing because I was, like, shit-faced. <laughs> and I was in public and on, <laughs> on live. It was hilarious. I'm thinking, that never happens. I never do that, so... <laughs> It was a little out of character for me, but that's okay for you guys to see that side of me as well. <laughs> oh, you got drinks now? <laughs> well, you're a lucky girl. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. It was great. It was good fun. I'll look forward to next year, too. I won't be at the Arnold. The Arnold's not my area, but um, I'm sure Crystal will be there, and you'll have a good time with Crystal. She's a lot of fun as well, so... It'll be good, but I'll be at the Olympia, um, again with Joe and I will be at, um, the LA Fit Expo. So if anybody lives in that area and wants to come and see me, um, and get a picture, a hug, um, I would be more than happy to do that. So, um, and also I think we're doing, um, the Utah FitCon too, I believe. Um, I'd have to double check with Joe about that, but. But yeah, so there'll be three more opportunities. I know there's a few people on here that um, 
the, well, I don't know if he's on here. I'd have to go back and look. But um, that uh, was trying to um, uh, hook up while um, we were there. And I, we were unable to do that. So, but there's always next year. So it'll be fun. Thank you. Thank you very much, you guys. I love the compliments. Thank you. That's very sweet. Makes me feel better. I've had a really rough week. So it's been um, super busy and Anybody on here that I owe a video or pictures to and I haven't gotten to you yet, trust me, they're coming. Um, it's just been a long, a long week. And then to top it off, my grandson, uh, two nights ago, broke his arm um, at football. So it's been kind of stressful. So tonight it's kind of nice to sit back with you guys, chill out, and, you know, just, um, just have some adult time. So... Oh, and happy you like the shirt. Oh, I did like it. Did you get any feedback from Joe yet? Because I thought it was really great. So I'd love one of those. You should put, like, make one for all of the maidens and then put the, our names on there. You know, like Maiden Michelle, Maiden Crystal, Maiden Kim, Maiden Cat. That would be really cool. And I, I have no problem paying for that. That would be awesome. So... Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure we're going to be at the FitCon again. So, um, although you know that Utah trip was not the best trip for me, I got stuck there for like what three extra days. But uh, regardless, yeah. I mean, if you're if you're there, I'll um, I'll be happy to meet you. Where is the next expo? The next expo will be the LA Fit Expo, and I believe that we'll have a booth with um, Ray. So again. Oh, yeah, you need to take pictures of you in that shirt. Totally. Snow happens. Oh, are you talking about the um, the Utah one? Because um, it wasn't snow. Um, <laughs> why you hold vibrators? Oh, that was a great picture. Wasn't that a great meme? Okay, so that was um, my friend Scoop, and he does great, great memes. And he's he's got some of my very, very favorites that he's created. And, uh, so he has a lot of fun with pictures and I, I totally, it, it, it cracks me up. It, it makes me laugh and I needed a good laugh. So, and he did a great job. He followed through quite well. So it was good. Oh yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Nobody really, really, um, uh, I expect to see stuff like that, I guess, you know, but I mean, I don't mind somebody doing a fun, playful meme like that with one of my pictures. I mean, it, it cracks me up, you know, I'm pretty lighthearted. So that's on. You want to sleep with me in bed? Well, I'm quite sure that if we were in bed, I don't think that we'd be sleeping. So, but if you want to sleep, okay, <laughs> I'm down with that. <laughs> Roll over and night night. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, thanks for being here and supporting me. I love it. <laughs> Bob, I love cream pies. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, you saw that. Joe. I'm, I don't know if Joe's seen that yet, but he'll love it. I know. I think Bully saw it, and he liked it, too. Thong or panties? Am I wearing thong or panties right now? I'm not wearing any panties right now. Actually, I just got out of the shower and threw myself together tonight to get on here. That's why I was late. I was running a little bit late today. So it seems like all day long I was running late. Everything I did, it was ridiculous. But sorry about that. <clears throat> so this is an Ask Me Anything um, live. So if there's anything you want to know, I'll ask it or I'll answer it honestly. And um and uh, maybe give you more information than you really want to know. But, <laughs> oh well. So, Kat, do you have plans to go to the Olympia next year? <laughs> Commando squat. <laughs> yeah, well, at the gym, I definitely wear panties. So, <laughs> thongs. I wear thongs at the gym. I have to. Yes. <laughs> Hey, Kat, what are you drinking? Tell me. Hi, Jason. Thank you for coming on here tonight. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I know I'm kind of new to this, so you don't know just yet. Oh, I thought you were already drinking, so. <laughs> You're adorable when you drink. 
I think there's some um, some footage that Joe has from the Olympia of us that um, may or may not get posted. <laughs> My drink of choice um, when I'm out, you know, like um, with friends, I will do a big blender shaker. <laughs> um, thank you, Brandon. Um, oh, thanks, Jason. Um, I will do vodka on the rocks with lemon and lime. Um, I do that because vodka has less calories and lemon is good for digestion. And so, I mean, there's other reasons why I drink that. I know it's sugar, you know, with alcohol, but, you know, I don't do it all the time. So, um, I <laughs> double vodka on the rocks. <laughs> I think on those videos, you, you hear me saying that a few times. <laughs> but clearly, when I was talking about who the winners were, <laughs> hi, really fit for life, hi. Um, when <laughs> when you saw me talk about the winners and stuff, you know, and how I was right and Joe was wrong, I can I say that like 25 more times? Anyway, um, I, I couldn't get anything right. I mean, <laughs> my brain was just not working properly, so... <laughs> It was funny though. Bullies on here. Hi, Jay. <laughs> He's going to be back on the road very, very soon. I'm very happy for him to get his life back where he wants it, where he likes it to be. Oh, I did pull your shirt down. Cat, you know what? You pulled my shirt down. All right. So <laughs> I'm not bitching about that. So shut it. All right. Just shut it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hi, Carrie. Hey. Hey, Carrie, I wanted to ask you, since you're on here, um, is Rob going to be coming there again to do another um, uh, modeling class, like what he's doing here? I don't know if you guys know, but Rob Sims will be here next week and well for a few weeks here in October and we're doing a modeling clinic so um we uh I'm gonna help uh Katie Rickman um and Rob and teach models or teach fitness girls how to model and um it'll be a lot of fun and then they get a uh a free photo shoot um as well so it's a package deal but the photo shoot ends up being free so um in the long run but so they walk away with some knowledge and some really great shots so it's a good i had to plug that on here so um there's been talk but nothing set in stone yet oh i hope he does though i mean that would be great because like what you guys did last year and you were able to get quite a few models going that was awesome and that's um that's what i'm gonna help rob and katie do here so it'll be fun especially getting just getting women out there you know it, 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 helping them learn how to get themselves out there and 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 it's okay to feel beautiful and you know um and to learn how to do something that maybe they've always wanted to do but didn't know how to go about it so it's great okay cat all right have a good night yeah there's quite a few um quite a few here in washington i have two girls of my own um, in my area that I'm taking with me over there. And then there's another girl. Hi, Hamburg. Hey! Um, and then there's another girl in, um, in Portland, Joanne. She's, um, she's going as well. So I'm excited to help, you know, her. Hey, Raleigh's Fit for Life. Where are you at? Where are you located at? You would be a really good candidate for the, um, modeling clinic that we're talking about Carrie and I are talking about right now you would be great so you if you don't want to say it right here then just DM me where you're um where you're from because Rob travels all over so and he has people all over to help so it would be great for you to get in on something like that hey bully you said you just woke up you've been sleeping on me here What's going on? Huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're in Canada. Well, you know what? I think Rob goes up there as well. Where, where in Canada are you at? So, like, I'm, like, he's shot people up in Canada when he's come here in the Seattle area. Are you, like, close to 
you know, Canada on my side? Or where are you at? Bodacious, busty. I can't read the whole thing, but I think I like that. Oh, Ontario. Okay. Okay. I'll have to ask him. Wouldn't that be great? That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Are the tits natty? No, I bought them. <laughs> but they're beautiful, so. Um, you can't fall asleep on the ladies, Jay. Yeah, Jay, you can't fall asleep on ladies. <laughs> You're going to have to come on here with me sometime. Anytime you want to, actually. You can, uh, you can jump on here whenever you want. I'd love it. It's always a good time with Jay. He always has something funny and sarcastic to say. He just speaks his mind, which I really like that. <laughs> but he's a pretty smart guy, too. Do I have butt implants? Of course I don't have butt implants. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Hell no. <laughs> I would never do something like that. Oh my God. But that was a good question. That's a good question. But no, I know. No. No, no, no. No butt implants. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. I saw, I posted though on my Facebook, I don't know who on here is on my Facebook, a lady that did have butt implants though on, on my Facebook and oh my God, they don't even look right. I mean, they're like, all, they look like breast implants on her butt. I mean, I, I think that they actually do that. Oh, when you get on the road, you'll go live with me. That would be great. I would love that. We got to do that again. That was a hit. I liked it. And plus, it gives us another opportunity to, to see each other and chat. So, because we don't always get to do that. Opinion on six-inch dicks. Well, I mean, quite honestly, um, anywhere from six to eight is perfect. So, I'll be right back. Okay. He's probably going to go freshen up. <laughs> uh, how fast can I peck bounce? I don't know. I mean, I, how, how fast do you need to do it? I can do it, obviously, but um, I never really, like, for speed, I'll have to practice that, all right, but I can do it just like that. <laughs> but implants are too round, too perfect, but they don't look perfect, Carrie. Get on my um, on my Facebook and look at this girl's butt implants. They, they do not, they don't look right. It's really sad, and I can't imagine the recovery. Oh, you stopped following the movement. They're like teenagers. Well, everybody's got an opinion, you know? I mean, some people don't follow me because they don't like me, you know, for whatever reason, and, and that's okay. It's all right, everybody likes different stuff. So, it is what it is. <laughs> Robzilla, he's the only adult. Robzilla. <laughs> we are teenagers. <laughs> Yeah, go look. It's she. Her, her suit's really cute, Carrie, but um, her implants are her butt implants are crazy. I think actually they're like bigger bigger than her breast implants. They just look really strange. <laughs> I don't think I'm. <laughs> Okay, I'm laughing. That's funny. Never mind. I'm going to go past that one. <gasps> rod. Rod, rod, rod. Wow. I miss seeing you. And you don't even live that far from me. Are you back in Japan, Rod? Why would someone not like you? You seem like a sweetheart. You know what? If they don't like me, it's honestly, it, it has nothing to do with me. It has to do with them. So for whatever reason, um, they don't like me. That's, I'm not their flavor, whatever. You know, I, I don't know. Because I'm not a mean person. I don't, have you guys ever go through my entire page? Anybody who's followed me, have you ever seen me get on here and be mean, crude, rude, or disrespectful? No, I haven't. So I don't know. You know, I mean, I'm just, I mean, I'm just not everybody's flavor. I mean, I've never been super popular with the ladies. It's a certain type of woman that, that can be friends with me. So, and some are, and some aren't, and I'm okay either way. My day goes, my day goes on. You know, I seem to get along well with the men, though. 
there's a uh, you know a couple of trolls that you know that don't like me and again that's on that's that's their issue not mine but I've won a few of them over you know they've eventually came around and saw that I'm a pretty nice person <laughs> so oh you're so sweet Jeff thank you Aw, nice man thank you <laughs> Rod, I want you to answer me. Are you in Japan or are you here? Where we live. Because you're not far from me. We should hook up for coffee or something. Hey, Ross, how are you? How are you doing? It's been a minute since we've talked. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know about an angel. But <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> That's great. Oh, sorry. You're tired. Yeah, I know. It's been a long week. I just said that earlier. It's like, good lord. Please, let's get this week over with. I just want to go to bed tonight, wake up tomorrow, train, and and uh, everything will be back on track. I'll be fine. Um, oh, you're a Seahawks fan. That's great. I'm not... <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm not a Seahawks fan. <laughs> I I am an Oakland girl, so I the Raiders. Sorry. I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna get some shit for that one, and that's okay because it could be worse. It could be the Denver Broncos. All right. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So anyway, let's move on. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I know. I was trying to get. We, I asked the Uber driver that drove us from the airport about where the um, the new stadium was going to be built there in Vegas, and we actually weren't even anywhere close to, by the time I asked him to where it was because I wanted to get some pictures of it. So let's see what it looks like, see what they're doing with it. But sorry, we beat up on you. I know. <laughs> I know. I. <laughs> We win some, <laughs> but I'm loyal, so that's the way it is. Oh, yeah, no 49ers. No, no. Mm -mm. No 49ers, Jeff. But I'm definitely, you know what, honestly, I mean, I'll, I'll just say this. So when, when the Raiders, which is a lot of times not doing all that great, and the Seahawks, because I live in this area, and the Seahawks are doing well. I, you know what? I root for them too. You know, I mean, I. Um. So, what? God, I love how you're older than my mom. Is so damn cute. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, how old are you? <laughs> My daughters, my my two daughters are 29 and 30 now, so um, that makes me, like, uber old. <laughs> it's okay, though. I'm good. Oh, you're... What? I'm a... Okay, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't trying to insult you. I'm just saying I'm not a 49ers fan. I'm a Raider fan, and when the Hawks are doing well because I live in this area, I root for them, too, so... I mean, you. how can you not? These fans here are just, they're, it's awesome. I mean, they really do support their team. It's great. But the Raiders do as well, so. I um, even have, like, Raider panties, thong panties. I should probably post a pic of that. When the Raiders win a game, which they've already won, I think one or two, but when they win a game, I will post a picture of myself in my, Raiders, um, thong panties, okay? <laughs> You're a hot MILF. I think you meant to say MILF and GILF, not golf, because I don't, I don't play golf. So, <laughs> but I am a grandma, <laughs> so. Oh, no, I'm not going to Cabo. Mm -mm. I can't take that kind of time. I mean, I, I have five kids that I raise. I can't take that kind of time and leave. It just doesn't work like that for me. I don't have that kind of help with the kids, so. It is what it is. I mean, it sounds great. It's fun, I'm sure, you know, and everyone will have a great time and they'll get great picks, but, um, 
it's just not in the cards for me. But I am, um, I am planning a trip back down to Malibu to shoot with Rob. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Spell check. Yeah. Um, uh, just shoot with Rob. Uh, spring. You know, I'd like to go in the spring. I think, and uh, get some. I finish up a shoot. Hi, Shuey. <laughs> it's nice to see you on here. <laughs> you know what? Your little baby is so cute. Oh my god, <laughs> so cute. I just love when you post pictures and videos. It's great. Kim, do you like to be dominated or dominating? Um. Hmm. Okay, so. 90% of the time, I, no, 80% of the time, I like to be dominated. But there is that 20% that I like to take control and um, do what I want. And um, so, there's your answer. Uh, oh, I missed what that said. Let me scroll back down. Bob, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, you just finished work? Oh, which job? I mean, don't you have like a million jobs, Shuey? You're a hard worker. I know that. Yeah, they're cute. Hold on, I gotta let my cat in there. My kitty cat's in here with me again tonight. You can come see me when I'm where? Down in Malibu? I, I, well, sorry I'm late. It's okay, Joe. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you were out with your boyfriend? <laughs> Don't you wish your boyfriend was hot like me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to scroll back. Sorry, guys. I'm a little behind because I scrolled back up. So, let me... Um, the 20% is when you tell your man to take out the trash, cook food, do dishes. <laughs> well, you know what? I do all that stuff, so... No. Not in my case. <laughs> Farrah Fawcett, Prime Beauty. <gasps> Oh, Chef Wiley, you made it. Hey, it's 10 o'clock in the morning for you. <laughs> I wish you could come cook for me. Mm. I see the stuff you make and it is so impressive. Except I don't eat a lot of stuff, so. Because I am a fat chick, so. <laughs> Spell check. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> And bangable. <laughs> Who's bangable? Your boyfriend? I don't I don't understand. <laughs> Do you like younger guys? Okay, I like younger guys. Um actually it's it, it really it, age, as long as you're not younger than my children, um, age is really not a factor for me. It's more the connection and chemistry. That's where it's at with me. I mean there's got to be there's got to be a connection. There's got to be some, you know, some chemistry. It can't just be, oh, hey, you're hot, let's bang. You know, it, it doesn't work for me like that. So, my outfit is nothing. I'm wear Honestly, I am wearing a um, a little, oh, my God, top. And, and these are just workout pants. That's nothing crazy tonight. Like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of time to get myself together. I just showered in real quickly, just threw myself together. So... This is a, um, this is not an extravagant me. Oh, you'd love to cook for me? That would be great. You know what? I, the only thing I can flex tonight is my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot in this room, though. I'm going to open my window. Hold on. There's going to be a storm tonight, so I can't wait to, to have that wind coming. I love it. What do I wear down? What, what? What? Okay, hold on. 
What do you wear down, baby? What does that mean? Tell me. It's a little after five here. Where are you at, Bob? Mm. Yeah, no panties tonight. No panties tonight. Thank you, Matt. No one ever asked me if I like younger guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> Joe, <laughs> I know you like younger girls. <laughs> Okay, my hot girlfriend is in the living room right now, and I'm here dick bidding to Kim. Ooh, that's hot. I like that. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. How sweet it is. Okay, chemistry is everything. It is. You got some crazy science going on. Thank you. <laughs> okay, going for now. Have a great evening. Thanks, Carrie. Thanks for coming on, sweetheart. You're beautiful. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, you like my lipstick? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Are my tits? You know what? I don't think they're... Well, you know what? They don't feel natural. I don't think they're that soft. So, show me what you're wearing down. I'm real... They're just workout pants. That's it. They're just... They're just... Um, yoga pants and a bra top. That's all. Oh, I need to catch up. Mm. Okay, Bob, so you're in the same time zone as I am. So it's 5.30. Um, let's see, my clock is... I think my clock is a couple minutes fast, so... 5.34. Wow, you're in Oregon. Where in Oregon are you? First date. First date what? Jay, what do you mean? What are you talking about? I need to catch up. I'm so far behind. Okay. All my boys are here. <laughs> well, I should be saying that. All my boys are here, but... <laughs> Chris Bra is not here yet. Scoop is not here yet. Oh, it's me, you fool. Yay. That is my boy right there. He's so funny. Okay, Aaron. <laughs> Go Hawks. Yeah, I know, I know. You're a Hawks fan. And I did that special um, cover photo for you with the Hawks t-shirt that, what, oh God, that was, what, three years ago, I think, when I did that. It was fun. Oh, that's sweet. You're having breakfast and watching me. I love it. <laughs> So do I make you hungry? <laughs> er. <laughs> That's cool. What are you having for breakfast? It didn't work out. I need to proofread better. I know I need to scroll back. Sorry, 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 guys. Sorry. Here I am. Back. Serious question. Can vegans swallow gum? Hmm. I never thought it. Oh, you mean cum? <laughs> okay. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Whew. Okay, that was a good one. Okay. How is it me? <laughs> <Why can't> I... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Whew. All right. All right. <laughs> Joe, that's hilarious. Oh, uh, thank you for the pictures. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet, Erin. <laughs> I don't think that I get worse with age. I think I get better with age, so. And hopefully in three more years or whenever, I can send you another picture that you'll use for your for your cover photo. That would be really awesome. Uh, 
I know, Joe. Joe's pretty funny, huh? Pretty funny. You know what I should do, Joe? I should get Gab on here, huh? That would be a fun live, don't you think? Her and I could play. It'll be fun. Oh, get back on OnlyFans. I know, guys. You know, it's it's funny because I've had a lot of um, requests lately about that. You know, are you on OnlyFans? And I was. Um, I was on there for quite a while. And um, I stopped um, because things weren't running uh, to my benefit on there. But apparently it is now um, under different management. And so it's ran differently. And so I'm considering it. Um, my friend Brienne has talked to me about it. So I'm considering it, but I'm just trying to be really careful because it's, uh, they have a lot of content that they're still, well, they were a while back still making money off of, but anyway, of mine. And so I'm not, I don't know. I'm going to have to just kind of feel it out, see how I feel about it. Spin the bottle lifestyle. <laughs> It's been the bottle was fun in Vegas. We had a good time with those two girls. They were fun, huh, Joe? It was a good time. And you want me to show you my ass? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You DM me, okay? And we can uh, we can talk about that. But I'm not going to show my ass right now on here. Have you ever had someone with Crohn's disease shit on you by accident? No. Hmm. No. You ever cook with a rotisserie pole? Uh, no. Mm-mm. Nope. I just want to kiss Kim. <laughs> you want to kiss me? <laughs> uh, ever been in, at a nudist resort? Yes. I have. And I loved it. Oh, Joe wanted the strap on in Vegas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bully, I left that in your truck, remember? <laughs> that was supposed to be our secret, but I just let it out. <laughs> so when you get your stuff back from your truck, you'll have it back. You can mail it to me. I'll take it to the next, to the LA Fit Expo. I'll tease Joe with it. Thank you. Thank you for saying I have a rocking body. That's very, very nice. Oh, my leg growth. Oh, you, you guys liked my picture. That was great. It was a, um, it was a combo picture. It was, I was posting about my legs because I need to have thicker legs. And so, um, Anthony Tedesco and I will be working on that. Jay's given me some really good advice. And tomorrow is my first leg day of a new workout. So, I'm going to throw in what Jay told me as well. And, um, we're going to get these legs growing. So, I'm excited about that. It just gives me, gives me better balance. So, oh, Ross, I'll talk to you later, buddy. Are you going to Cabo, Ross? I forgot to ask that. <laughs> Bully, your, <laughs> uh, your emoji is funny. Exotica in New Jersey. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. I hope that's not the same weekend as my gay cruise. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that, Joe. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you got me on that one. <laughs> okay, can you make it happen to me in real life, Kim Vidas Haynes? Can you help me end up with a rotisserie pole through my ears? <laughs> oh my mouth. <laughs> I, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just, I don't think it, I'm that kind of girl. I don't think I'm the girl you're looking for. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> You're really... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Joe, no. I am not into that. No. No, that's not me. I am not going to be puking, spitting food in someone's mouth and face. No. And I'm not going to shit on anybody. <laughs> Okay, Smoke Tam, you are a little over the top for me. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is the first. That's nuts. <laughs> but with the meat flavor, you won't have any more, so. <laughs> okay, you want to play this with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My weirdest sexual experience. <clears throat> weirdest. I don't know if I've had a weird sexual experience. That's funny. Oh, I wouldn't snort Jason's navel plant. No. <laughs> um, ugh, no. <laughs> Okay, so my weird sexual experience. Isn't that funny? Um, hmm. I really have to think about that one. That's that's a hard one. I don't know if I've had a weird one. Find another word, a descriptive word. Help me with that. Because I don't think I've had a weird sexual experience. I actually think that I've um, had some some risque sexual experiences. I mean, I think you know any, anybody that's a freak has had some some pretty risque ones that are you know probably some we wouldn't tell, some we would. Okay, all right. I'll message you. You message me soon. Awkward sexual experiences. Huh. Awkward. Huh. Why am I stuck on that? That's really odd. What's my fantasy? Definitely gangbang. That's my fantasy. Just straight up. There it is. Uh, thank you. Um, awkward sexual experience. Um, you know what? Um, probably when I was, um, but I didn't actually have sex with him, but I was babysitting and the dad and mom came home and the mom, uh, stayed with the kids and the dad took me home and the dad was like coming on to me and I felt like really awkward and I was like, whoa, he was good looking. It wasn't any of that, but I was just like taken back and I thought, oh my God, you know, um, uh, that was pretty awkward, but I didn't have sex with him. But you know what? I thought about it later. I thought that I should have and I could have, but I didn't. So, um, so maybe that answers, you know, what you're asking. What's the most risky and memorable? my most risky and memorable sexual experience was I was working at Country Western Bar, um, a single parent, and I was working at night. I was a cocktail waitress, and we had the Thunder Down Under, and I took two of them home. So, and it was something I'll never forget. <laughs> Let's just say that. How many involved the bang and the female ratio? Oh, for gangbang? Just me and a few men. I just think it would be fun. So, and that's just the way it is. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, I looked away and now I'm behind again. Damn it. Shit. Yeah, the Thunder Down Under 2 guys, they were, they were hot as hell and it was a good time. My great-grandfather... And this nursing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.
Bob, come on, man. <laughs> Why is that my girlfriend in porn, but she's an innocent lady? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> If Brian explain what I'm I'm lost here. <laughs> I've been to been so funny over the life. You know, it's just I mean I don't know. I just think men are awesome and I think that they are they are incredible and I think that when they have a woman that, you know, they all want to share, I think that it's it's an awesome, beautiful thing, and I've seen it, and I just think that it's it's great, you know. So I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna shake this every bottle. I know, right? If I had one of those bottles, I'd be shaking it right here, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> No, I don't hate on men. I love men. I, You know what? I prefer men over women, bar none. Bar none. Friendship, everything. Because I, I, I get it, you know? I mean, I, I get, I love men. They're, they're cool. They're awesome. Um, as long as you're a cool chick and you don't, you know, you're not a bitch, you know, you should pretty much have a pretty good time. So, and have some pretty great friends. So, and I have, that's been my experience. You know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not popular with the ladies. Most women don't like me and that's okay, <laughs> you know, because I love me. <laughs> so, and I love my friends. <laughs> and most of my friends are men. Yeah, I know, right? Brian, you should train with me. It'd be fun. I'm fun. Oh, naked. <laughs> well, there's a lot of cameras in my hometown gym. <laughs> there's none in my gym, though, downstairs. So, in my house. <laughs> but there's a lot in my thing. But I've got, you know, I've got good guys that I train with in the mornings and... They are awesome. I love him. If Jay wore a Donald Trump wig, would you bang him? Sure. Why not? I just rip that wig off. <laughs> and just because your friends are men doesn't make you a slut. No, exactly. Yeah, no, it doesn't. You know, but in many women's eyes, it does. You know, just because you can talk about shit with guys that most women don't. So. Really move your tongue out the side of your mouth. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, you want me to look sexy and hot right here? No, I, that ain't gonna be. That ain't gonna be happening tonight. Trust me. I've had a rough week. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I. You know what? You only get a bad rap with insecure women, women that that are not that want to be like the center, and then some other woman comes in that takes off a little bit of their shine, and then they get indignant about it. They get pissed off when they should embrace the other woman and enjoy the attention together. So it shouldn't be a it shouldn't be a competition. With so many women it's all about competition. And it's not. <laughs> it's it's just really not. It's really about the person that you are inside and you know, real people see that. Fake people they never see shit like that. So hell they can't even see their own insides. Oh my gosh, my feed is like backing up. How weird is that on this, huh? That's really strange. 
Okay, hold on. Do it in a sexy way. Shit, I can't be sexy right now to save my fucking life. <laughs> it's been a long goddamn week. Did you not hear the first part of my life? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs>